Hey everyone, Nick Genetakis here. In this video, I'd like to go over the topic of not knowing what to build. I often get this question over email where people ask me, man, Nick, I want to learn web development, but I just don't know what to build. So in this video, I'd like to show you a problem that I have as a course creator. And this is really going to be focused on anyone who wants to get into native app development, especially desktop application development. So check this out. Right now I'm recording my entire screen. My screen size is 2560 by 1440. It's basically a notch up from 1080p. Over here I have my browser and there's a terminal and there's also a code editor. But the program I'm using right now to record this video is not what I normally use. Right now I'm using OBS Studio, but usually I use Camtasia. But check this out. Camtasia has this nice little tool where I can outline a section of the screen that I want to record. In this case, I positioned it a little bit off to the right. This way I can have some notes here off screen if I need them. But this rectangle here that's highlighted is 1080p. And if I were to press record on Camtasia right now, then it's going to record everything inside of this rectangle. And that's pretty cool. But look at this problem here. Let's say that I want to record the browser. Well, now what I need to do here is very, very carefully align this browser exactly to the borders here from the Camtasia overlay. And then I need to do all the same thing here for the code editor as well as the terminal. And like, wow, if I want to actually show something like the terminal and the code editor side by side, oh man, it's a real first world problem here. <laughs> I need to like really carefully align these things so it fills the whole video and it's a whole process. I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? But it's kind of annoying, especially because let's say, you know, I'm using Windows here and you can do this thing called maximize where you click that icon and the whole entire window fills your screen. And that's pretty awesome. There's some other cool things too. Like if I take this window here and drag it to the left, then I can just pick whatever I want to split it on the right. And then I can even move both of those windows in unison by dragging this thing here. But when it comes to trying to position these windows inside this rectangle, I lose all of that functionality. So my app idea for you would be to develop some type of application that's similar to Camtasia here, where I can define a rectangle of my screen. So if I were to pick my browser here and then move it inside the rectangle, I would be able to click maximize and it would maximize it inside the constraints of this rectangle instead of going the entire screen. I think that would be a pretty cool app idea. And if you can pull something like that off, I would gladly buy it if you decided to sell it. Who knows though, maybe you can open source it, you can build a community around it, and then sell support. That's a pretty popular model. With that said, thanks for listening and good luck developing your applications.